All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss further into uh, strategy for integration, and now go over example one of an example series that I'll cover in uh, in this and later videos. Basically, to recap from my earlier video uh, on the four-step integration strategy that I covered, we have it here. Here's just a quick uh, glimpse of it. Uh, basically, the four-step four step integration strategy. The first step is simplify the integrand if possible. Integrand is the function inside the integral. And uh, number two is look for an obvious substitution. And number three, classify the integrand according to its form. And number four is try again. So you follow this, this order and, and hopefully you can solve it. Now in this following example, I'll go over the process of selecting a method to use, but will not uh, fully integrate out this integral. So let's look at this one right here, which is integral of tan cubed x divided by cos cubed x dx right here. So let's say, let's follow the step one, try to simplify this integrand if possible. So one possible way of using step one is to, well, put this cos, remove this divided by, so put this on, on the top. So what we could do is write it as a tan 3x and then this is going to be a secant. Just flip this above cubed uh, x dx. And now, um, basically, well, I don't see any obvious substitutions right now, but we can classify this as one of those uh, trigonomic integrals that I've covered before. And since this is odd, what we could do with this is yes, yeah, follow the methods that I covered in an earlier video on. Uh, solving integrals that involve trigonomic functions inside. So if, since this is odd, I'll show you what I mean, is we could uh, leave out a tan x secant x uh, term. So this equals two. So I'll, I'll take one of these terms out, tan x secant squared x. And the reason is because we can apply a substitution later. Tan x and secant x dx right here. So the reason is because we know that derivative of secant x is this. So what we can do is, is look for an obvious substitution. This is semi-obvious. And I'll show you another uh, method to get a more obvious substitution. So now that we have this, now we want to write everything in terms of secant. So this equals 2. This right here, we could write this as, well, this equals 2 uh, secant squared. Yeah x minus 1. So that's what this equals to. That's a trig identity. Right now, write down secant x squared and then times tan x secant x dx. And now in this case, if we let u equals to secant squared of x. Now this, I mean a secant x to remove the squared, we get the derivative equals 2. Like I showed in my earlier video, the derivative is just tan x secant x uh, and then it put a dx there for a differential. So this equals to this right there. So we have basically are able to remove this entire thing and everything's in terms of secant squared of x or in terms of u. So this equals 2 u squared minus 1 u squared and then du. That's this whole thing. So as you can see, we, we were able to simplify this and this equals to u to the power of 4 minus u squared and then uh, du. And now this one, it, it wasn't too obvious, so it wasn't that obvious of a substitution. Another way we could have done this in a more obvious way is, well, if we were to do step one again. So rearrange it, again, do this again. Yeah, so do this, uh, we'll do this another way where we don't utilize the fact that the derivative of secant uh, is equal to tan tan x times secant x. That one's it's slightly less obvious than if we just were dealing with uh, sine and cosine. So that's the idea here. So if we were to just to write these out in sine and uh, cosine right here, then dx. So if we write that down, this top part's going to be well sine cubed x over cosine. Uh, cubed x, but there's another cubed already, so multiplies, so we have a 6 right there. So this one is, uh, we're dealing with uh, the more common sine and cosine, and now what we could do is, similarly uh, like above, we could rearrange this such that we have a sine squared x, 
and then times it by sine x dx. So it's always the same uh, method right here. So now we're going to transform this sine squared x using an identity, then use a substitution to get rid of this sine x dx. So this equals 2 now. Uh, this equals to the sine squared x. That's just going to be, well, 1 minus cos squared x. That's the most common identity. And then times by sine x dx, all divided by cos 6x right here. So, so now that we have this, we just let let u equals 2, similar to as above. Now it's cosine 6x. I mean cosine x, remove the 6. Uh, du is going to equal 2. Well, the derivative of this is just negative sine of uh, yeah, sine x dx. So now we have this part, then we can get rid of this. So again, this rearranges sine x dx equals 2 negative du. So that gets rid of this part right here, and that equals to negative du. So dragging this down, this equals 2, 1 minus, now put the u inside, divided by u6, times it by negative du. So uh, we just multiply this negative inside there, so we get u squared minus 1 over u6 du. And now this equals 2, you divide this out, u to the power of negative 4, and then minus, well this is u negative 6. This is just, this is just the same thing as writing 1 over u4, and then du right here. So now these look slightly different. If I go back to here, this is u4 and then to the 2 right here. But since this is a negative and also the u is going to be cosine, when we take the derivative of an integral of this, this you always add 1 so it gets to a negative 3. This gets to a negative 5 when you take the integral. And similarly, this adds up so this would go to a plus 5 and this goes to a 3. So we would get basically the same thing uh, as these, and then since these are power negative, this is a cosine becomes secant. So it's exactly the same thing, and you could work that out yourself. Anyways, that's all for today. I just wanted to show how you could basically do roughly follow these steps and basically simplify, look for a substitution, and understand which uh, trigonomic uh, function. I mean, which in which form of the integrand you have. In this case we had a trigonomic function inside the integral and we try to utilize substitutions to uh, simplify this. Anyways, I'll go over later videos with different kinds of um, integrals and, and show how to follow this uh, method. Anyways, that's all for today. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.